we're here at the end of the second closing round of the Consciousness Deep Dive. It's June 27th, at least in this part of the world. And place the talking object in the center for reflections. So just wow, and, and thank you to everybody. I, I just, I, I, I. And in, in the whirlwind of stuff uh, that's surfaced in the last 90 minutes, uh, what's foremost for me right now is um, <clears throat> this little statement that's on my refrigerator door. There is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. And, uh, I'm actually starting to get that. That's been an idea. <laughs> That's been a concept. Uh, I, I'm actually beginning to feel what that means uh, through these phone calls. So thank you. Happiness is the way. And gratitude helps. Yeah, one of one of the phrases we've heard or I've heard over the course of these conversations is, you know, when when thinking about what many of us think is the likelihood, some are even saying the inevitability of collapse, right? That we have two choices. We can either, you know, just show up and, you know, fight for whatever slim possibility there is that that that, that can be prevented, or we can party like it's 1999, is the phrase I've been hearing. And <laughs> I, I, I don't, <laughs> so we talked in, in this call, we told the story, I told the story of the Whidbey Winter Gathering, which is convened every year along with a summer gathering in Hollyhock um, by a couple, Rick and Grassi and Peggy Taylor. And Rick has this wonderful saying that he's kind of famous for, which is, if you want to change the culture, throw a better party. So maybe we're not gonna party like it's 1999, but can we party like it's 2019? And, and, and is that perhaps what we've been doing on this call and, and in this deep dive? Yeah, thank you, Ben. Yeah, we we certainly can throw throw a better party. I've been three years in a row now to a, a party called or event called Catapult Future Fest in Oslo, where I met many amazing change makers and impact investors and such. And this is by by far one of the best events in the world that, that combines both party and a ser very very serious talk. So uh, that's where I met uh, Ross Wald from Ashoka. I told you about. Uh, Early this week so we had like a whole day of conversation <laughs> during parties and during the day as well so so definitely we, sh we should not we should party and celebrate more that celebration is one thing that is truly missing from our society and and celebration celebration for true true things and celebration in a sustainable way not the big uh, uh, the big thing that burn i've seen that there's a trend now that everyone shoots confetti everywhere and this this little small plastic and paper things and they get everywhere in nature it's a why <laughs> so we we certainly can celebrate in, in a good way and when that's that's what i think we can do and also i reminded you there's you know, someone who's talking about the trim tabs early this week as well and i really think that yeah uh now I'm meeting new people again in this conversation, and there we are. There are so many of us so concerned that finally are coordinating up and build, weaving the whole network all over all over the globe. So I've been following my friend uh, Bartola Bersand. He was interviewed by Rehan from Pakistan earlier 
uh, today. I can share a link for that interview. But uh, there are so many people from all over Pakistan following him and seeing what he's doing here in the Nordics and building the bridges. And he, he also talks, explains the network theory behind bonding, bridging, and linking. I won't go into that now, but you can listen to Bartola explain it in a very well way. How do we actually build different kinds of networks where the different, different, uh, three different uh, uh, things you can do when building a network is bonding and bridging and linking. So check that out. So uh, uh, thank you from Michael in Sweden. Captain Future. So I'm going to build on that. Um, a huge thank you to Ben and to everyone for convening this. And this was a very special call because I believe it creates bonds where we're able to share so open. How can I not know you on a completely different level? And that helps us for whatever will come. Um, and I think I feel privileged to have been part of this and hope to continue. So big, big thank you. I'll dive in now, um, Joy. And um, I came into this call having missed most of the conversation because I've been so busy with personal things the last month. Came into the call thinking we're going to get um, left linear feedback of, of actions and things and stuff and dived into our hearts and sat there for the 90 minutes and uh, that was beautiful and it was perfect. Um, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sharing, for being there, Ben for holding the space and I look forward to seeing what comes next. Exciting. And it was wonderful to see you dancing. Thank you. You can see me? I, I, I didn't have the video up on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaked into the screen every now and then. So it was very nice to see that. Oh, that's funny. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful to be here with you all. And hmm. I think we can be confident that the transformation of consciousness will happen. I guess our task is, at least mine, that's how I feel it is that um, we do need to empty the leg of suffering. And if we do that with our hearts, then it will go smoothly. But otherwise, that pain that's there in that lake of suffering will manifest itself in the real world. Yeah. And that yeah. better be avoided. We spoke a lot about joy, but also grief and fear and pain. I wonder, speaking of joy, would you be willing to read the David White poem that I mentioned? I can share my screen and would you do that? Yeah, I could do that. Can you read that? Is it big um, enough? Nearly. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll make it. I think I, is that better? I can yeah, probably, yeah, I've got to get close. I can zoom in a bit more, I think. How's that? Oh, good. Yeah. Whoops, I went too far. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I can scroll down now as you read. How's that? All right. The Well of Grief. Those who will not slip beneath the still surface on the Well of Grief. Turning. Whoops, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's start again. <laughs> okay. Start again. Deep breath. Okay. Moment of silence. The Well of Grief. Those who will not slip beneath the still surface of the Well of Grief, turning down through its black water to the place we cannot breathe, will never know the source from which we drink, the secret water, cold and clear, 
nor find in the darkness glimmering the small round coin thrown by those who wished for something else. The Well of Grief, River Flow, New and Selected Poems by David White. Thank you. I have one more poem. I've been looking for the right time to, to read or have people read. It's a little long and it's not online. I, I took some pictures of it so I could do another screen share if people wanted to read it together or I could just read it. It's from these folks, Climbing Poetry. People want to read it together if I shared the screen or shall I just go for it? I'm not hearing me, okay. It's called Awaken. Wait, is that the one? Maybe that's just the one. Uh, no, actually the one I was thinking of is pre, Prerequisites for preservation. Dear people, I really, really need to go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. Bye bye. Anyone else need to say goodbye before we do this? You do, Maria? Okay. Sorry, I still have my other little call. I know. <laughs> so. We're in indigenous time. What can I do? Enjoy indigenous time and many, many thanks. Yeah, bye. Okay. Here we go. Prerequisites for preservation. This is my climbing poetry. We're going to need to get organized, live beyond boundaries, soften our hearts, talk to each other. We're gonna need to leave behind our baggage, relinquish our comfort, release our control, coexist. We're gonna need to give up our addictions, confront our pain, ask for help, give more than we take. We're gonna need to dream bigger, work harder, get dirty, take time. We're gonna need to remember we're gonna to need to forgive. We're gonna to need to let go. We're gonna to need to let go. We're gonna to need to feel fully, revive our intuition, make up our minds, enact change. We're gonna to need to look at ourselves, reconcile our ignorance, sacrifice shame, make amends. We're gonna to need to need less. Peel away the non-essential, go hungry, break a sweat. We're gonna need to heal our fears, tell our secrets, share with our enemies, love ourselves. We're gonna need to study existence, refine our dreams, mediate our shadows, cure our disbelief. We're gonna need to practice magic. We're gonna need to cherish water. We're gonna need to grieve. We're gonna need to move on. We're gonna need to stay focused. We're gonna need to be strong, tend our commitment to beauty, fuel our devotion to truth. We're gonna need to pray. We're gonna need to follow through. Endure burning. We're going to need to surrender. We're going to need to trust. We're going to need to give light. We're going to give light. We are light. We are.